In this video, I'm going to look at an area of grammar that you can use to expand your grammatical range and get a higher band score for grammatical range and accuracy. I've noticed that even very good students forget to use this grammatical tense or these grammatical tenses. And in IELTS, you have to speak in quite an artificial way to make sure that you have a range of grammar. So let's take a look. So in IELTS, there's a distinct possibility, this means a very good chance, that you will be asked questions about where you live. So we can use this topic to practice the complex grammar that will be useful for you. And not just for this topic, but it'd be useful for other topics as well. So if the IELTS examiner asks you, do you live in a house? or a flat? The natural answer is, I live in a flat. Is this a good answer? No. Why not? Well, there is no complex grammar, you just repeated words from the question. There are no discourse markers. So there's nothing there that the IELTS examiner can give you a high band score for. That's a perfectly good answer to the question. But all the time you need to be thinking about those band scores and how you can get into the higher boxes on the bands. So, do you live in house or flat? Currently, I'm living in a three bedroom apartment. So why is this better? Well, we've got use of the present continuous. There are no repeated words from the question. We've got a discourse marker currently. And we've expanded it a bit instead of just saying a flat, a three bedroomed apartment. And just in a few words, we've impressed the IELTS examiner much more. So you need to use different tenses. Present continuous, present perfect continuous, or past continuous will really add to your grammatical range. And IELTS examiners love hearing continuous tenses because not many students use them. So let's take a look at how you can use these tenses. Let's take a look at this question again. Do you live in a house or flat? Currently, I'm living in a three bedroomed apartment. We could add something to make it even better. Currently, I'm living in a three bedroom apartment. I have been living there for about six years. And this is a tense called the present perfect continuous. And it's used to describe an action that started in the past and continues in the present. It's quite a complex tense, but it's one native speakers use all the time. What have you been doing today? Oh, I've been cooking, I've been reading, I've been working on my computer. We use it very naturally, but it's very complex and non-native speakers don't tend to use it. So if you can learn, I have been living there, then hopefully you can pop it into your answer during the IELTS speaking test. So we form it with have or has plus been plus the verb plus ing. So remember, I've been living there since last year. I've been living there for three years. You could also use it to talk about study. I've been studying there for four years. So don't just think of it in terms of the verb live. Like I said before, you can use it with lots of other verbs. I've been studying this subject for two years. I've been preparing for IELTS for about six months. So write some sentences that you think would be useful for you and are true about you and just practice saying them and then try to include them when you do your IELTS test.